<sighs> Alright, well, I just got in here from work, and we had a pretty interesting set of events that, uh, I mean, he got me off work an hour early, so that was kind of cool. <laughs> but other than that, uh, well, basically, we were using a miter saw, and if, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a chop saw, and one of my coworkers was using it, and he cut it, one end of the board comes flying up, catches his hand right into the saw blade, so literally two of his fingers, I mean, as I look down, I see two of his fingers just dangling, and I didn't see it anymore after that, I was like, okay, yeah. Uh, he needs to go to the hospital. We're done. So, him and boss go to the hospital. I'm left there cleaning everything up by myself. And, uh, actually, I haven't heard back from him yet. So, hopefully, I mean, I mean, let's be for real. It's ain't like he fucking, you know, had a heart attack or something real serious. But hopefully, he's all right now. I wouldn't blame him one bit if he uh, was a no show tomorrow. It'd be a good excuse just to get an extra day off, you know, but, but yeah, that was, um, I seen, I seen two fingers dangling and I was like, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I need to see. Um, now I gotta try to fucking warm up and get ready to work out after seeing that shit. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep warming up, try to get my mind back on lifting weights. And, uh, not think about fucking people's fingers getting cut off. <laughs> Try to get a good back and bicep pump today. Ah, well, I can't quit thinking about it, man. <laughs> well, anyways, let's keep warming up. <clears throat> ah. Oh yeah, I'm fucking ready now. That was the war that was the warm up set right there. Now I'm ready. Up. Okay, so it's, it's, it's basically fact that if you grunt like that, you get at least two or three more reps. Listen, I don't, you know, I don't do all the science behind this. I just kind of deliver it to you. So I'm just telling it like it is. You start moaning like that and grunting, you'll get two or three reps more each set. It's science.
I did in set of 10. A Okay. Can't fucking breathe. That's enough for there. Uh, yeah. We'll go go do some kind of bicep next. All right. Well, trying something a little different today. Cause I was watching a good old a Mike Mincer video, which normally. I don't agree with his training methods, at least when it comes to, you know, he'd only train two, three days a week. Um, but I was watching a video and he actually made a really a good point. You know, most people use the easy bar when they're doing preacher curls or, or just even a lot of curls in general, which, you know, it's good if you're wanting a little more form in there and, and stuff like that. But if, you're, if your goal is to actually target the bicep as much as possible the straight bar is actually the better option because i mean if you if you just stand here act like you're holding an easy bar and then just turn your hands more out like that as if you're going to a straight bar and uh you'll feel your biceps activate so much more so even without the weight and without the bar you can feel the difference so like i said if you're if you're wanting to target your biceps more, you know, and worry about hitting the forearms, you know, do that with other exercises, uh, you might want to consider switching from the easy bar to a straight bar. Now, I actually haven't ever used, well, I don't think I've ever used a straight bar on the preacher curl, so this is going to be different. Probably going to be a lot harder, a lot more bicep. That's what I want, so. Anyways, let's, uh. Let's see how this feels. Ah. Uh. 
Uh. All right. Okay, so the initial assessment is, yeah, that target your biceps a lot fucking more. <laughs> you know, not to put it scientifically or anything, but yeah, that was a lot harder, but a lot more biceps. So this might be the uh, the new way I hit preachers for at least the foreseeable future. I'll do two more sets of this and kind of get a better assessment, but initial assessment is, yeah, this is, um, like, again, like I said, for your biceps, this is way better. So two more sets. Ah, oof. I gotta admit, I think my mentor was onto something with this. So, yeah, I think I might stick with this for a while. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on to some kind of, I don't know, maybe some kind of row for back. So, yeah. So, you know, I come over here to do one arm cable rows because this weight really, really it doesn't go heavy enough with two arms, especially. But even with one arm, uh, I gotta be honest, you know, which is a good thing, but this weight's getting pretty fucking light. So I threw a 10 on there and we'll see, you know, if we can take three or four reps off. Make it heavy enough to where I'm getting 12 to 15, which will be good enough for a frame. So let's see.
Okay, so, gotta be honest, this is the first time that I've tried an actual bent over row in probably three months since my back got really bad again. And so I could I can manage to do this as long as I don't go too much heavier. So I'm gonna have to really slow the reps down, maybe even add a squeeze, a second or two hold at the top. And uh, I just kind of do what I can here. So, yeah, try another set and we'll see. Okay, well, obviously by now you couldn't tell. I decided to stop after two sets of the of the bent over Smith machine row. Like I said, my lower back's getting better, but just after two sets of that, it was starting to uh, flare up. I could feel it, so I stopped at two sets. And I was even going pretty light too, and it's still, I'm sure if I would've threw my belt on, you know, maybe I could have done a third set and went a little heavier, but it's not worth it at this point. I'll uh, do probably two more sets of these, 
I probably up the weight too. That was just a little too light. And then I do some uh some super sets and drop sets on light pull down and probably call it a day after that. Okay, I feel I feel comfortable saying that was a good second end on the curls. <sighs> yeah, let's uh let's get back on the light pull downs and see what we can do. All right, so. I'll be a little honest here. I did have a really good pump. I'm starting to lose a little bit, so I'm gonna try to make up for it on these sets and shorten the rest periods and really get after it. Now I always say that, and that's you know, it's easier said than done. <laughs> but that's the goal. I'm gonna do that one more time.
<laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. I'm gonna lighten this weight just a little bit. Try to get a better set. Ah, fuck. <sighs> 